Morning, 43014, Ivert Class 4MT. It's a Backman model, 32-580 Alpha. It comes heavily weathered. We've put the crew in and the coal. They built 162 of these between 1947 and 1952. They were withdrawn between 1963 and 1968 and there's one preserved. Primarily a freight locomotive and I hope you enjoy seeing it run. Just to point out the weathering here and the detail in my view is sublime. It really does look good as a loco that's come weathered out the box. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy seeing it run. And here's the usual sidings test. Which I don't envisage being a problem. As I say, the weathering on this loco is superb. It really is realistic looking. And we're running it out as slowly as we can. And here we go. Slight discrepancy there, but we're not going to worry about it. Okay, here's the uh, curve points test. That's a left hand standard point, left hand curve point, left hand curve point, and it's really tight. You can see the body shifting. There you go, and it's derailed. And that is a problem with Radius 2 and some locomotives. And I keep saying this, this was done on a computer program and it was okay. Here we are, we're going to go through backwards and give this a go and see what happens. And you can see, there you go. What I'll do is, is I'll put it on and we'll try and do it slower. Does not like curve points. So. Do you want to take it out? Forward. And bring it back slower. Go on. Slowly. And it's left the track. And this is why I say you've got to test, test, test. And I know I've said it before, but the computer told me this was okay. These curve points in this fiddle yards don't move the loco. And how would I know about an Ivert 4NT? coming back to locos from 1976. I do now, and that's why I keep saying the computer programs are wonderful when you know what you're doing and you know the locos, but when you're a beginner, how do you know? You don't, as simple as that. Worth noting this loco has no pickups in the tender, no wires, so if it's DCC ready it's all inside the frame. And you can see the slow speed running, it's pretty cool.
bear in mind that this has no pickups in the tender. And you can see, and it's going over there. Three insole frog points, no problems at all. Here's a bird's eye view of the points test. So now we're going to go backwards onto the worst part of our track. And this is a radius 2 onto a radius 2 curve point. And it's very, very tight. Very, very tight. We were lucky that didn't come off. Very, 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 very lucky. And now we'll take it back the other way. And this is why we made this loop here and extended out because the other part was too tight. And we can see that was easy. And back again, please. And all the way back. And you can see there, we're going through that part of the track. And if you can take it forward, please. And if you can take it back, please. And you can see here we're going through a triple point, insole frog triple point. Keep going. And if we can bring it back, please. And you can see, apart from struggling just there, which we knew it would, we were very lucky it didn't come off the track. There is nothing wrong with this loco. As I say, we're running it as slowly as we can to demonstrate this. the Ivrek doing what it's designed to do, a heavy freight train. And here's a panoramic view of the heavy freight train.
and it does, it runs superbly this loco, absolutely superbly. coming up. It's got a slight, a very slight gradient here and you can see it handles it absolutely perfectly. Here is the tightest part of the track and you can see the loco just topped a little bit, the radius 2 onto the radius 2 curve, but I would just thought I would show it, it does do it, but it's not the smoothest. And you can see it pulls these trucks absolutely very, very nicely. These are Batman clay wagons of which we weathered ourselves.
The mistake we made was we should have ideally bought another six of these clay wagons, but we didn't. And we can't find any more, sadly. You can see the slow speed running's great, and as I've said, it's got no pickups in the tender. Thank you for watching and I hope you've enjoyed seeing this locomotive run. Thank you.